Hi guys, it's Kanye here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see from the beginning of this video, it's a simple unboxing of Christmas products from Etude House. And this box here is like, oh my god, so 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 creative and so cute. And look at like the little nose right here, it's Rudolph the Reindeer. I received this during the Christmas party event from Etude House. It was at Pokok KL and there are a lot of influencers, um, the girls from Sweet Generation 1 and 2. And we had a lot of Christmas food as well, like it's so much fun actually. All I want to say is thank you Etude House Malaysia for inviting me and having me in the party and also for this special gift. And if you find the products much to your liking, do hop in their stores and grab them as soon as you can before this year ends. So I guess it has been a while since I made a YouTube video. It's so good to be back doing the things that I love because I miss making, producing videos and also sharing a lot of contents here and there. Moving along, I know a lot of you guys out there are actually interested in this brand new Christmas edition palette from Etude House. I'm actually wearing the eyeshadow colors from this palette on my eyes as well. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yep. So for this, I will be recreating this cozy, sparkling Christmas makeup look for you. So if you guys are interested in how I recreate this look, do stay here and keep on watching. Okay, so first and foremost step is of course giving my face a layer of face primer. So I will be using this Daisy Ducks Face Blur from Egypt House. This is actually Egypt House's latest version of the face blur. And I also actually featured this product in my unicorn makeup tutorial as well on my Instagram. It's on my collective Instagram account. You can just watch my IGTV on how I actually create the unicorn makeup look. So it looks like this. It's creamy and watery as well and I even like the smell of it. It smells like a lotion, like a baby lotion. So I'm just going to do it with a sponge. Dab it all over to even out the face primer. And then I'm also going to apply underneath my neck as well because my foundation will go below my neck. Okay, so the following step is a bit different because I'm about to apply my foundation next. I know I always do my foundation after my eye makeup which is like the last few parts of my makeup tutorials. But this time, let's twist things up. So for my foundation step, I'm going to apply these two together. So this one is Itch It House's Double Lasting Serum Foundation under the shade of Honey Sand. And this one is Maybelline New York's Fit Me Foundation under 128 shade which is called Warm Nude. How am I going to apply this? I'm going to mix both of these foundation shades together. So if you're curious why am I doing this, it's because when I mix these two shades together, I actually get the shade that matches my skin tone. So it's kind of weird and I actually found this out on my own. And I've been doing this since the start when I got this foundation. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do my magic. So I've already applied on my silicone makeup puff. This one here is obviously from the Double Lasting Serum Foundation and this one is Maybelline's. And I'm just gonna use a brush to mix these two together. So I'm gonna blend it all over my face and show you guys how this actually matches my skin tone. But can you see that it actually matches my skin tone? It's not too light nor too tan and at first I thought that I was somebody with a neutral skin tone color but then I was a bit wrong. I was actually a yellow skin tone person. So the Double Lossy Serum Foundation I got here is a bit too bright for my skin so that's why I have to mix a little bit with a yellow tone foundation. So ta -da, this is my kind of shade. Not too bright, not too tan, just the right tone for my skin. Not forgetting underneath your neck as well. I know using two types of foundation might be a waste, but what's worse than not finding the right shape of foundation for your skin? And do not worry too much of mixing the foundation because you can still see the effect of the Double Lasting Serum Foundation. Like, look at these parts right here, it's still quite dewy. So you don't have to worry too much about not getting the benefits of this foundation. Okay, so now I'm done with my foundation part, I'm going to just finish up my brows and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm done with my brows and oh yeah, I actually forgot to mention a product that I used which is this 
it just has this drawing eyebrow under the brown shade we're gonna do a bit of a concealing i'm gonna use this fit cover concealer skin fit pro also from each house i'm going to do a bit under my eyes my acne scars and also on top of my nose and the forehead and then i'm gonna blend it out using the same makeup puff Okay, next I'm gonna use this Fix and Fix Fixer Oil Control Pack on top of my face just for like a face powder finish. This is not really a face powder, but I'm just gonna apply it on top of my face just to prevent the oil formation on my face because I can get oily easily in the middle of the day, especially my nose here. So I'm going to do contouring on my face using this NYX Professional Makeup Matte Bronzer under the medium shade. It looks just like this. I'm going to use this angle contouring brush. Just dip it in and start to contour. So we're done with the face makeup and I'm going to proceed with my most favourite part of the makeup tutorial which is the eye makeup. And for my eye makeup today, I'm going to use this palette. Yes, this palette here is the one that appeared in my unboxing part in the beginning of this video. And this is called the Play Color Eyes Mini Red Nose Reindeer. This palette consists of like pinkish and reddish tone and also the brown color pass on top of here and for this palette what catches my attention is especially the glitters right here so as you know that i am a fan of glitters and you can see it obviously that the glitters right here is really really attractive it just makes me feel like i want to touch them all the time because they're so 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 pretty like see the shimmers and glitters so as you know that Christmas is all about sparkling colors and glitters, this palette makes it white and suitable for a Christmas makeup. So I'm going to use this one. It's called Proof 10 Eye Primer. Just going to put some on top of my eyes and dab it slowly. So I'm going to start doing my eyeshadow part right now and for my base, I'm going to apply this Dear or Not, which is a light pink brown color. Lightly put it on top all over my eyelids. Then I'm going to use this smaller tip brush to apply underneath my lower lash line. And then next, I'm going to use this red nose, which is a shimmery red with pink gold pearl on top of my eyelids as well. And trying to blend it together with the Dear All Not shade. Wow, this is a really lovely red here. And I'm going to leave the middle part for the glitters later because I always do that for my eye makeup. So this is actually giving a red line wipes. And then I'm going to use a fluffy blending brush to blend out the colors and the edges. So I'm going to apply this shade called Slate Delivery, which is a shimmery deep pink brown on top of my lash line and bottom lash line parts as well. So for the last part of my eyeshadow, I'm going to use these two glitters together. This one is a gold pink glitter and for this one is a silver brown glitter. So I'm going to use the fingers to apply the glitter and dab it on top of my eyes and you can see the glitter is a bit shiny. 
can you see it? For this eye as well. Oh my god. You should see how the glitter sparkles on top of my eyes. They're so 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 pretty. I think Etude House has been doing a great job lately, like how they improve the formula of each of the shades on the eyeshadow palettes. Like actually literally all of the shades from any palettes, like the recent ones, they have like really good adherence and the color pays off really well as well. And that is why Etude House is known as one of the most best-selling Korean cosmetics ever, and also skincare. For my eyeliner, I'm going to use this Play 101 pencil under the shade of 18, which is a dark brown shade. So I'm done with my eyeshadow parts and also eyeliner parts. I'm going to do my mascara parts right now. I'm going to use this Curlflex mascara. This is the one which is also shown in my unboxing video in the front. And this one is actually the upgraded version of this original Curlflex mascara. Like the design is different. You can see obviously on top of the cover and also right here as well. It's different. So let me just curl my lashes first before applying the mascara. So this mascara actually looks exactly like the original one. So since this year is coming to an end, how is 2019 to everyone? For me, I had a pretty amazing journey and I gained a lot of experience as well. Like how I'm already a final year student, trying to complete and rush a lot of reports and assignments. And most important lesson of this year is that I'm trying to learn how to juggle between my side jobs and my studies as well. So I am done with my mascara. You can see the curling effect is so 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 good. So I think this is one of the best mascara that I have ever used since then. And I'm going to proceed with the highlighting part. I'm going to use this shade right here. It is called Rudolph Star. It is a gold white glitter. And I'm going to use it to highlight on top of my cheekbones and on top of my nose bridge. Wow. Look at the glitter. I think that this palette can be used as a highlight palette as well, especially on this shade here. And I would say that this is a multi-use palette because you can also use it as a highlighter. Really, really love the glitter. And I'm also going to have it on top of my brow bone as well. So I'm going to use the same glitter on top of the tip of my eye. And for the blusher, I'm going to use this soft cookie blusher. It is also under Daisy Dex collection. And the shade here is called Pearly Daisy. So you can see shimmery type of effect here. I'm going to just apply on top of my cheek. The way I apply blusher is to stay near the contour zone. So it will not look like it's too much of a blusher. That's like my kind of style of using the blusher. So for the last step of the makeup, I'm going to apply my lip color as well. I'm going to use this Rudolph Coming to Town version of Better Lips Talk. And this color here is called Strongberry. It is a neutral spring winter clear kind of red color shade. And so my makeup look is finally done. Just let me do my hair first and take out some accessories and I'll be back in a second. So ta-da! I'm finally done with my sparkling cozy makeup look. Wow, I never looked so good in red before. Just kidding. So as 2019 is coming to an end, I hope you guys enjoy this year and get your resolutions done as soon as possible. So if you guys haven't get your resolutions done, start immediately and stop procrastinating because self-development is so, so, so important for a person. One thing I also learned about this year is be yourself. Seriously, like just be yourself. Stop caring about what other people think of you and say about you. It doesn't matter because only you yourself know who you truly are but not other people. The words and the thoughts that come out of 
the people are what you cannot control. So just ignore them, be yourself, do your best, do what's right and do what's happy for yourself. Because I'm learning in a hard way this year and I don't want anybody to fall in this trap ever again. And I'm also still trying to learn how to love myself in the best way that I can. So if you start focusing on loving yourself and being yourself, the right things and the right people will come along the way in your life and it's so much worth it. And so far I've been there before and I can't really tell how much this really means to me. And so let's cut the chase here. I think that's all for today and I hope you guys like this makeup look tutorial. Do give a thumbs up and share this video out to support me. So I wish every one of you guys out there a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!